Well, hello, my two fellows and gals. So, I wanted to take the time and review Undo with Vintage. These came from a scrapbook, and as you know, they get glued to the back. So, I'm working with this to see what I can pull away to try to salvage these. Now, some have ripped because you got to be careful, and plus, they're old. Um, so we're going to take, I love this product as a crafter. I guess they used to have Gooby gone or something like that. Now they have Undo that if you put a sticker or something in the wrong place, you can remove it. So this was something I wanted to do. I was telling Penguin Boss and people and whatnot about it. And what I do is you saturate. This will dry without staining. And you use the tip of this, you put the lid back on because it'll squeeze out. Let this saturate in. And then this is what you do to try to save the stuff out of photo albums now or scrapbooks. And I'm telling you, sometimes this works in some parts and sometimes it doesn't. This is the first time I've ever played with this on a vintage item. But I really, really love these cards that's got the ads on them so you just got to kind of find a way in to catch you got to try to catch a piece and sometimes you got to feel around and then you just try to do this as gentle but as hard as you can without ripping the actual ad and I bought this scrapbook off of Moody Mommy it was like it was a scrapbook with pages off of whatnot, it was this scrapbook. And it's got a bunch of these in it, so I'm trying to salvage what I can. This is a chance you take. When you're purchase, purchasing scrapbooks or the type of photo albums that have the little you know, corners where you lay these down and you slide them in, they stick too. See how this is coming up now? You, you can get a chunk going, and it's not doing any damage whatsoever to the ad on this one. But you got to be careful because these ads are old. I mean, some of these are like from the 1800s. So what I do is I just try to get a good spot, and you work it the best you can. Now, I know some people, you know, they might heat it up. And do things like that. Whatever your technique is. But I actually really like undo. Like I said, it's like, I don't know what they used for adhesive back then. But every once in a while, I have a garbage right below me. So I scoop it up and clean it off. And when it feels like it's starting to get hard again, I wish I had another bottle of this. But I've used it a lot. You take and saturate it again. And it does have a strong smell to it. But once it dries, there's no stainage and the smell goes away. It's really cool how this product works. I swear by it. This is just to give you a demonstration. And to some people it might be too much work, but if you're like me and you try to salvage the past, this is a good way to get a hold. But I'd love to know what they used for adhesive back then. And see, I just ripped that, just bent that. Because these are old too. So, like I said, some, it's trial and error. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. On newer stuff, it does. But like I said, it's the first time I've tried this on something antique. And it's coming up good with some work. 
I'm trying to salvage. So far I saved this one here ripped. I got part of the back. This one here came off really well. And this one here came off really well. So it just depends on how much they adhered. And then this one ripped a little bit. I don't think this had an ad on it. That was just a card. But isn't it cool though? I mean, these ads are so awesome. I don't even care if they're ripped, but I'm trying to salvage them best I can. But sometimes you might have to saturate. You can go to undo, type it in, and go to the website. And you can actually buy one, get one free. And these take a little more. Usually if it's if I'm crafting along and something like you know happens like a sticker gets stuck or something in the wrong place, this will take it right back up again. And it doesn't hurt the stickiness. You can restick it again. But it's newer. Where you don't have to worry about ripping stuff. These are great. I in a used bookstore, so these are great to take stickers off. You know, some people slap these great big Kmart stickers on the front of books. It actually removes the stickers very well, so the book doesn't get defaced. But sometimes you have to saturate it a couple times to let it sink in to get to the sticky part. But I still like this product. See how it's coming off. But we've talked about this many times on whatnot when people were looking for items. Ways to get the backings off of stuff that's stuck. So I will be working at this for a little while to see which ones I can salvage, but I wanted to give you an idea, see how that's coming up, of how it works and it does not stain. Like I said, I fully drenched these. They do not stain from the undo and the smell is just gone. It's really weird how this really has a pugnant odor like a strong I don't know if it's acetone-ish smell but it's it disappears when it dries it's really cool so if you got the time and you got the patience and some of these in these albums don't stick as bad as others you can salvage stuff like this Got to put a little elbow grease into it. So I wanted to come on and kind of give you an idea. I try to go through and cut these as best I can. It's kind of hard when they're layered. But I cut them with scissors first. And then I go back over. Sometimes you get big chunks off the back of these. And sometimes you got to scrape them. Like I said, it depends on how adhered they are so what I'll do before I go is I'll show you what I mean I'll continue to work on this one this one I cut from it and see how this is open right here delicately 
try to get starting to rip on the corner so you want to delicately get it started like right in here and then once you do that you saturate You, can, you don't have to do the whole thing. You can even do part way down if you want to. I'll do the whole thing just to give you an idea. Wait a few seconds. Kind of lightly pull up if you can. Sometimes you can get a big piece. It doesn't matter if it goes on front and back. Like I said, it won't stain. It's guaranteed not to stain. Sometimes you can crack the glue on the back. It's not cracking the front, see? But it's cracking up. I don't know if this is, it may be ripping right there because it already had a crack. And you just do it again. I know it's like I said, I don't know what they used for adhesives back then. Sometimes it takes a few times of soaking it. This isn't the one too bad. It's a little harder on the older, in my opinion. Because I, get, I don't know what the adhesive is with, and plus it's been adhered for so long. But look, it's not even damaging the ad. This is supposed to lift. whatever it's adhered with. It's 
she's getting a good grip of it. It's rough. And yes, people, it is work. <laughs> but anyways, this just gives you an idea of how it can work. But I promised I would do a demonstration, so. That's what I come on here to do. Gonna be a little bit more delicate right there. It's cracked. The card itself has a crack. Just make sure if you decide to try this to put the lid on every time because if not, it'll squirt out. of this to do this with to try it so we'll see how many I can say versus how many I can't and with that I hope you enjoyed this and whatever time is in you're in I hope you're having a great one I'll see you soon bye